Okay, in this video from FireAlarmsOnline.com, we're going to be covering some basics on the conduit bender itself to help get you started. You got the arrow marker here, used to bend stubs or 90s, offsets and outer marks of a three bend saddle. You have the rim notch here, which locates the center of a three bend saddle, and you have the star marker here, which indicates the back of a 90. You also have your degree markers down the side of the bender. If you don't like to use those degree markers, you can also get yourself uh, a no-dog level, basically screws on the end of the conduit here, and uh, gives you the straight, the 90, the 45, and the 30 degree uh, marks. Makes it pretty easy. It's also got some rare earth magnets on the bottom to stick to the conduit. Pretty cheap. Makes it, uh, makes, make sure your conduit's nice and straight. Also located at the end of the bender, you'll notice this flared out portion here. It's a little bit thicker than the rest of the handle. And what that's for is if you are bending a small stub or a certain portion of conduit that's too small to grab onto, you can slide this on the end of the conduit to give yourself some extra leverage to uh, help straighten that portion out. All right, um, with that said, we're gonna get started on some videos uh, to help you guys bend conduit. Make sure to visit firealarmsonline.com for additional factors and some new videos coming out soon.